three Champions League finals in five years. It's it's something to obviously relish and you know be really up for. Peter, so James, where would this rank if you could get something from this game, even at all, possibly a win? Yeah, we rank right up there. Um, no, that's what we want to obviously accomplish. We want we don't want to just take part in this competition. Um, we want to you know, establish ourselves in the competition and, and go toe to toe with the giants of Europe. And, you know, that requires us to be um, competing in every aspect of, of the game, um, especially the, the way we played against Napoli. Um, you know, we just got to go toe to toe with uh, Liverpool tomorrow night. Andrew? James, how important is it that you get something out of a stubble head of European football? Yeah, obviously our aim is to be uh, to continue playing European football after Christmas, and for that we need to take points and we need to get points the best way we can. And we'll obviously give it our all tomorrow, and hopefully we can we can get a result. Michael, obviously over the years that it's still a bit special. Yeah, very special. Um, I think the last time I came here was ten years ago. Um, in a youth cup semi final, which I was in the stands because I was too well, I was just part of the squad. Um, uh, so to come back here, um, with it all changing, yeah, it's a special, yeah, special uh, stadium. Um, I don't know, all the boys can't wait, so yeah, looking really forward to it. Jordan. Yeah, he's a big miss. You know, he's made a a huge impact into the into the squad since he, he joined since he joined us, and you know he's he's got great ability, great quality on the ball and even off the ball. How hard he works, um, but you know our squad is full of depth, and you know we've got players to to obviously come in and play. Um, but it's obviously a big loss, and hopefully he can be fully fit um, after the World Cup. Wednesday. <laughs> Um, I think it's it's a bit of both. We have to be brave on the ball. Um, we know we've got one of the best front three uh, players in the world um, as a trio, and you know we've got to, got to try and keep them quiet the best uh, the best way we can uh, for as long as we can, and we've got to you know put our stamp on the game and try and create our own chances. Um, so that's what we'll be looking to do. Um, you know, I'm, I'm sure they'll have a lot of the ball uh, being at home, but we're going to try and obviously frustrate them and you know be brave on the ball when we when we do get it. Matthew. And I think at the minute we've got two strikers who are in a really good form. Um, it obviously gives the the boss a, a headache to select one of the two. Um, but Alfred obviously he's 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 getting to where he wants to be um, with his uh, obviously with his fitness and from his injuries recovery from from the operation that he had and. You know, he's been working really hard on the training pitch and it's been proven, um, you know, obviously at the weekend coming on and getting a goal. So he's been re working really hard and he offers us um, goals. And that's what both of our strikers have been doing. They've been scoring goals. So hopefully we can, I can be of service to him um, tomorrow or anybody else that, you know, given the chance, he can put the ball in the back of the net. Alan? Yeah, I was very surprised that we've not been down here. Um, but yeah, it'll be a proud moment uh, to to captain this side. Um, not only um, with it being a, a big Champions League night, but obviously going back down to England and playing against one of the biggest teams down here. So um, it'd be very special. Uh, but I'm sure it'd be very special for for everybody. Andy. Yeah, we I think we learned our lesson um, in Amsterdam. We 
you know, probably give him too much respect um, when they had the ball. And I think it was a a night and day uh, performance when we played against Napoli. If it wasn't for the, obviously the red card, the game could have been seen a little bit different. Um, but we went toe to toe with them and we competed with them. And I think if we would have kept eleven men, then the scoreline would have been um, different. But that's what we have to do going forward: um, is really compete with these uh, with the teams and not sit back. Okay. Yeah, I've seen the game. Um, Brian Moore obviously in top form. Um, but we've obviously got to try and be brave on the ball, which Brighton were, you know, the the good possession side team. And we like to keep the ball, so that's what we have to do. Even if we lose it, we'd get, be still brave to be on the ball uh, and obviously try and catch them out. Um, listen, like they've obviously got a world-class 11, a world-class team. So we'll try and do our utmost best to, to break them down and obviously create our own chances. David? Yeah, I think we've we've had majority of that in the European football that we played against. So we're really accustomed uh, to that kind of football. Um it's obviously different to to the Scottish League. But yeah, it's fine tuning. Obviously, when to sit back and when to press, and obviously when to try and catch them on the counter attack, or when to keep the ball. Um, but the boss has really well drilled us. Um, we've had a a good week building up to this game. Um, so yeah, we know what we have to do tomorrow, and we've just got to stick to the game plan. I'm back. <laughs> Yeah, I obviously spoke to him uh, soon after that game. Uh, just wanted to ask, obviously, the comparisons between uh, Liverpool and City. And basically, it was is a case of whenever they had a shot, it was a goal. Mm-hmm. This is the levels that you're playing against, world class players. And if you give them a chance, you know, eight to nine that t- times out of ten, it's going to be in the back of the net. So we just got to try and limit them chances. Um, you know, and that's what we've got to do. Try and limit the chances and put our own stamp on it. Just in terms of NBA, it's obviously been a problem. Is he good for the NNC to leave? Who's still with you? I think uh, Ben's obviously spoke to a few of the lads. Um, I think uh, he's obviously spoke to the boss, but I think we we all know by watching a lot of Premier League matches and Champions League games of 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 how the Liverpool sides are and how Klopp wants his teams to play. So uh, I don't think there'll be any uh, new news coming coming to us. Okay. Thank you, guys. Cheers. Thank you.